Hey everybody, welcome back to another week here tutorial. We are up in the attic and the first thing we're gonna do this week is open up the wall that goes into the loft in Elias's room so that we can actually have access to when we wanna do the floor and finishing touches in the loft area. I think this will help explaining a little bit of how this whole layout is gonna work. The camera right now is sitting at the entrance of the third floor where you come up the stairs and then you can see there's the hallway. To your left is the entry into our master and then over here is where we just cut out the area or the door for Elias's loft and then you can just walk into the loft here. So with this door open now, it's a little easier to understand the layout. The loft is gonna be a five foot wide loft. There will be a wall or some kind of railing at the end so that the kids of course don't fall down into Elias' room. But the rest of the room is gonna be open and has high ceilings. Um, we haven't exactly decided of how that wall is gonna look like, but um, that's gonna be probably here in the next few days so that we can do this next week. Um, obviously there's still going to be floor on here, probably going to be flo uh, hardwood floor every like everywhere else in this, in this floor. So the next step is to finish the rafters and the joist end pieces where the, whole, where the beam sits and where everything sits, up, sits on top of each other because if I don't do that now and I actually start laying the, la the floor of the loft, I will have much less access and obviously it's gonna make my life much harder. The last few joists here at the end are in. That means joist work is done. The next step is to finish where the rafters and these joists come together. So there's gonna be a beam on top. I think I explained it last um, in one of the last few videos. Make sure, I'll link it in the description. But I need to finish that beam, redo it at the spots where it's gone or rotten, uh, or rotten and then 
I'm gonna have to sister some rafters back in that are sitting on top of that beam because the rafters are also rotten at the end. So that's the next step, but I don't have all the material here, so I have to run to Lowe's and pick up some wood. So the first step that we have to do is take this rotting side rafter out here that was right on the side of the chimney. There was the chimney sitting right in between here coming down. So we need to take this out. Obviously you can see it's deteriorating here. So we're gonna take it out and then we're gonna put a new rafter that goes right to the center. This is only a short piece that is rotten at the end anyways. So we're gonna take it out and put a new piece in. So unfortunately this joist is rotten at the top at the end. The problem is though I just can't I can't just take it out because the entire roof is still sitting on top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just sister in a joist where I can have support on both sides then and it will give us a lot more strength and we can just leave it in.
here's a close up so you can see we added 2x6 material those beams like they had before and then we sistered in another rafter since the end pieces were always rotten out sometimes you can see the rafter was still pretty in good shape so we reused it and st still sistered in a new one just in case but this will strengthen the roof much more we will get much more support and I think this makes it also so that the roofers can come and actually put our new roof on top I do love this wide open ceiling for the loft obviously we will have a wall here but itself is such a nice feeling to have all this extra space above and such a big opening there it's just fantastic well I think this is it for this week we made some pretty good progress we got all the rafters completed we finished the opening to the loft and now next week we only have to finish the floor and the wall toward between the loft and the opening so that nobody falls down and then the whole project of the loft is pretty much done for right now well i hope everybody has a wonderful week and i will see you guys next time i turn on the camera bye